Okay, so let's start laying down in Shavasana, like we always do. We lay down on our mat, knee on the back, feet are slightly apart. We let the toes to fall relaxed, open to the sides, laying all the way down, hands by the sides of the body, with the palms facing up. Make sure that your palms are facing up, your fingers are relaxed. No need to hold tension anywhere in your body. And here we take just a moment to start to connect with the breath. So natural diaphragmatic breaths. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose as well. We have a few people who haven't joined us before today. So just a reminder to breathe into your stomach, always through the nose, into the belly. You can place your hand on your stomach if you want in the beginning, feel it raise and out through the nose again allowing your belly to drop your navel falls towards the spine We're taking natural diaphragmatic breaths no need to forcefully control the breath in through the nose and out through the nose as well. Let in any worries. Welcome, Nariko san. Hi. Any concerns? Anything that is going on in your life right now? Anything that is weighing you down? We leave it outside of this room. And if we can, we leave it outside of the building. We make space for ourselves, for our yoga practice. No need to engage in the chatter of the mind. above your head, interlace your fingers, give yourself a nice, nice stretch, and exhale, release, roll to the right side on your mat, and whenever you are ready, using your hands, prop yourself up into a seated position, legs are crossed, spine straight, hands on your knees, welcome John, welcome Lee Mark. Or Mudra. Close your eyes and we continue breathing here. Still natural diaphragmatic breaths. Still no need to forcefully control the breath. Let's just observe how it flows. Let's begin to deepen your breath, feeling in the stomach with air. Once the stomach feels full, feel the lungs, allow the ribcage to expand. 
Once the lungs feel full, feel the throat and exhale slowly and with control from stomach, lungs and throat. Let's take a few more deep breaths, full yogic breaths. Aiming to elongate your inhale and exhale as much as you can while making sure you can still breathe comfortably. No need to force it too much or to feel like you're choking. Be gentle with yourself. Breathing naturally into the stomach again. I thought we would try the square breath today instead of kapalpati like we always do. Some of you may have already done the square breath in this type of pranayama breath control practice. We inhale, hold the breath, exhale and hold the breath again at the same intervals of time. We will start a few rounds without holding the breath, just inhale and exhale. And then we will add the hold. If that feels too much for you, you don't need to add that. You keep inhaling and exhaling at the same intervals. I will be counting for you and we will work with a four time interval. Again, if this is too much, do your own thing. Do intervals of two or of three. Let's start breathing naturally. First inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Moving on to the square breath. Inhale on one, two, three, and four. Exhale one, two, three, four. Inhale one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, Four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Inhale, keep going. Counting by yourself. As you continue this exercise, make sure your spine is straight. Shoulders are relaxed, dropping away from the ears. Keeping the spine straight, relax the legs as well. If they are holding tension, relax your jaw.
Breathing naturally into the stomach again. Enjoy your breath. See if there is any difference from when we started. If your eyes are closed, open your eyes, raise the arms up, inhale in to raise the fingers, turn the palms up, push the ceiling away, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Don't forget to breathe. Sides of the body long. And release, interlace at the front, in front of you, turn the palms out, Push away, round the back, separating the shoulder blades. It's okay to round the back here. Curl, curl, curl. And release. Inhale, coming up. Interlace the hands behind your body. Open the chest, spine straight. Leave the arms as much as you can behind you. No need to force it. Don't stop breathing. It's not about who goes higher. It's just about finding the stretch in your own body. And release. Let's raise just the right arm up. Right arm up. Inhale, elongate. And exhale. Let's tilt. To the left side on your mat. Keep the chest open. If the chest closes, if we end up looking down at the mat, maybe we went too far, it's okay to come a little higher and make sure that the chest is open, that you can breathe and you can look up at the ceiling. Inhale, coming up to the other side, left arm up, inhale, elongate, exhale, tilt into the right side, finding length on the left side of the body. Keep the left arm actively pulling away. And inhale, coming up. Let's open the hips just a little bit. This one is a bit tricky. Let's take fire log pose. We will take the right leg, the right shin, and place it parallel to the edge of your mat. Right shin, parallel to the edge of your mat. So the foot is not really close to your groin. It's in front of you. Let's take the left leg now and place the left foot, the left ankle, on the right knee. And see if we can lower that left knee towards the right ankle. If this is too much, you can put a cushion or a block or a thick book, something in between the ankle and the knee. If we are comfortable here, you can place the hands on the mat by your side. Pressing down through the legs so we continue to open the hips. Open the chest as well. Sit up right. Can you feel it? Yes. Breathe here. One more breath. And release, we will change sides. Left leg comes down, shin parallel to the edge of the mat. Right leg on top, right ankle on the left knee, right knee on the left ankle. You may feel a difference from one side to the other, it's normal. You may need props on one side and not on the other. Hands by the sides of your body, sit upright, spine spread. And try to keep the shoulders away from the ears. It's very easy to kind of hunch here. Open the heart, breathe. Pushing down through the knees, opening the hips. And release. Let's come onto 
all fours, cat and cow. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Hands as always with the fingers spread wide apart. Frog hands pressing on the mat, neutral back. Breathe here first. And on the inhale, gently project your chest forward, arch in the back, look up. Exhale, curl the back, lift the navel towards the spine. You can even push the hips slightly forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more on your own count. Follow your breath. And once you're done, Come back to the center. If you're in the middle of your mat, maybe come back a little bit so we have space at the front. Keeping the hips right above the knees, walk the hands forward. And keeping the arms active, lower your forehead down onto the mat. Let's stay here for a couple of breaths. Keep the arms active, even if the head touches the mat, be sure to keep it light. The head bears no weight. And pressing on the right hand, we're gonna take the left arm and cross it underneath the right arm and lower the head onto the mat, finding a twist here. Press on the right hand and come back to center. Let's take now the right arm and cross it underneath the left, finding a twist, lower your head onto the ground. Press on the left hand, come back to center. Maybe bring your knees forward a little bit, curl the toes. On your inhale, lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Find length in the sides of the body. Sink the chest between the shoulders. And we can begin to bicycle our legs, pedaling here, finding a stretch in the hamstrings the calves, waking up the back. Now come to center, bend both knees and elongate the spine, pushing the hips back, sinking the chest down. Your belly comes close to the thighs and keeping that newfound length, gently begin to strengthen the knees and see how close your heels can get to the mat. They don't need to touch. Find your limit and stay there. Look at your hands, walk towards them. And once we are at the top of the mat, let's roll all the way up, 
one vertebra at a time for the sun salutation. Make sure you're standing at the top of your mat, feet are together, hands are in prayer in front of the heart, tuck the tailbone in, the rib cage in, and drop the shoulders. Take a moment to connect with your breath here. And inhale, arms up, and gently arch for the sun salutation. Exhale, spine straight forward, forward all the way, hands by the sides of the feet. If you cannot touch the mat, bend the knees. Your hands should be on the mat. Right foot back, knee on the mat, look in front of you and smile. Hold the breath, plank, step back. Knees, chest and forehead or chin down. Inhale, slide forward, open the heart, cobra. Curl the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward between the hands. If it doesn't come all the way, use your hand and bring it forward. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale up. Exhale, prayer. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left. Hold the breath, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, forehead, or chin down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale. Inhale, left. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, bring your nice. One more round, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right. Hold, plank. Nice. Exhale, knees, chest, Forehead. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Inhale, up. Exhale, prayer. Inhale, the other side. Exhale. Inhale, left, hold, plank, exhale, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, left, exhale, right, inhale, up, and exhale, prayer. Find a moment to connect with your breath here again. And we will ease into today's sequence. Inhale, arms up and arch. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right. Step back into your plank and hold it. Stay here. And smile. Breathe. Don't stop breathing here. Very nice form. Push back through the heels. Lift through the back of the knees, through the core. Push the mat away through your hands. One more breath. Knees, chest and forehead or chin down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a couple breaths here. And we'll 
work the core a bit. Let's lift the right leg up as high as we can. And as we exhale, bring the knee to the outside of the right arm, moving forward into plank, hold. Inhale, step back, the leg extends up. Exhale, right knee to the right upper arm. Push the mat, lift from the core. Inhale, back. Exhale, the knee between the arms. And step the right foot between the hands. Open the left toes to the side. The front knee continues to be bent in a 90 degree angle. Lift just your torso up into a warrior two. Arms shoulder height extending through the fingertips. Tuck the tailbone in. The rib cage in, breathe. Keep the back leg strong, the front knee opening to the front of the mat. You may feel it in your hips. Let's interlace our hands behind our back. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, fold forward towards your right leg, as if you wanted to touch your right toe with your nose, lifting up the arms. Breathe here. Inhale, warrior two. Good. Hands on the mat and step back into your plank. Knees, chest, forehead or chin down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. A couple breaths. And we will take the other side. Inhale the left leg up as high as we can. Exhale left knee to the outside of the left arm. Push them up. Inhale up. Exhale left knee to the left upper arm. Push them up. Lift from the core. Inhale up. Exhale, left knee to your chest between the arms. And step the left foot down between the hands. Open the right toes to the right side. Front knee 90 degree angle. Come up, warrior two. Breathe here. Make any necessary adjustments. Tuck the tailbone in, ribcage in. And stay with your breath. Let's interlace the hands behind our body. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, fold forward onto the left leg, humble warrior. Lift the arms. Keep the back leg strong. Breathe. Inhale, coming up, warrior two. Exhale, hands on the mat, plank. Knees, chest, forehead down, elbows always close to the body. 
Inhale, cobra. Downward facing dog. Breathe here. And let's walk about half a step forward and open the legs to the width of your mat. Let's stay here first. Finding length in the sides of the body, hips stay high. And we're going to take a right hand and grab our left calf. Right hand to your left calf. Make any adjustments necessary. The left elbow stays straight, we don't bend. Inhale here. And as we exhale, pull in on the left leg with the right arm, twist to look up at the ceiling from underneath your left armpit. Breathe here. You may notice your hips may want to come forward. Keep them level behind you. And release to center. Take a breath. Left hand to right calf. Inhale. As we exhale, pulling on the right leg through the left hand, twist to look up at the ceiling. And release, center. Let's just breathe here, let your head hang. If you need to move a little bit from side to side, you can do that. And we'll bring our feet together. And walk back with our hands into a standing forward fold. If your belly does not touch your thighs, Bend the knees. So we can start here, we bend the knees, bring the belly down to rest on the thighs. Maybe place the hands on the mat and see if you feel a stretch here in the back of the legs. If that's not the case, or if the stretch is not enough, keeping the belly in touch with the thighs, this is the key, begin to strengthen the knees to find the stretch that works for you. The moment your belly and thighs separate, you're likely rounding your lower back or losing the stretch. So take a moment to find what works best for you. Now, if you want, you may grab your elbows and kind of hang here now, letting gravity pull you a little deeper. Deep breath. Finding length in the spine. Whether you are bending the knees or not, maybe direct your awareness to your hips in your seat bones and imagine almost visualize that you're pulling up through the seat bones even if the knees are bent it still works to find that opposite force to find the stretch hip bones seat bones pull up and your head kind of falls down towards the mat Release the hands on the mat and separate the feet. They can be hip width, they can be as wide as the mat. And we're going to turn the toes open to the side so we can squat in between Malasana. We come to squat in between the feet. 
So find a distance that works for you. Sometimes if the feet are too close, we can't place the heels on the mat. In that case, we can separate a little bit more. You can also place, again, blocks, thick books, things under your heels to reduce that gap. Once we're here, hands come in prayer in front of the chest, the heart. Elbows kind of push the knees open a little bit more. And we try to find length in the spine. So we avoid hunching here. Let's open the heart as we push the knees open. Find the length. And breathe. your eyes are closed open your eyes and let's bring the right hand onto the floor to the right side of your body the right arm is still inside of the right leg kind of still pushing the leg open place the hand on the floor open the left arm up to the ceiling finding a light twist we're still sitting down. If your hips come up, maybe you're going too far. Keep sitting down, trying to open the heart. And release. Let's take the other side. Left arm inside the left leg, placing the hand to the side on the mat. Open the right arm up, open the heart. Keep sitting down. and release let's sit down and bring the legs in front of you legs are bent feet are on the mat give your legs a hug and drop the head to the knees let's stay here for a couple of breaths And we will take Navasana, the boat pose. So bringing your head up, maybe separate the feet a little bit forward on the mat first. And let's focus on strengthening the spine here. You can keep the hands on the mat. Focus on strengthening the spine, dropping the shoulders down and opening the chest. So find that length. This would kind of be hunching. We want to find a position where the spine is long and the chest is open. Once we have that, you can take your hands under your legs and lift the legs off the mat, bringing the shins parallel to the floor. Keep the spine long. So that length in the spine that we just found, keep it there. If this is too easy, you can extend the arms alongside the legs and breathe. This is enough. If you want to go deeper, strengthen the legs, keeping the same length in the spine. If you lose the length in the spine, maybe, maybe we're going too far. Hi, Emma. Nice. Good job. Let's bring the feet down on the mat. Slightly in front of you. Keeping the feet down on the mat, the knees together, arms parallel to the floor. Most of you know what comes next. As we exhale, contract the core, keep the belly strong, and we're going to come to lay down. Slowly on the count of four, three, two, one. Your back should be on the mat. Don't really rest your head because we're going to come up again. 
Don't stop breathing. Keep the core active. Feet on the mat. Knees together. Inhale up. Oh, the way spine stretch with control. We're going down again two more times. Down on four. Three strong core. Two, keep breathing. One, lay down, stay here. Inhale, come up. All the way. Last one, we're going down on six, five, four, three, two, and one, stay. Don't lose your core activation. And inhale, coming all the way up. Have your knees and rest. Lift the head up, sitting back. Let's extend the legs in front of the body and bend the left leg in the left foot against the inner right thigh right toes pointing up right foot is flexed inhale here as we exhale keeping the spine long fold forward onto that right leg as much as we can you can grab onto the right leg you can grab the right foot, whatever works best for you. The most important thing is that we keep the chest open. So you may notice that if you go too far, you kind of curl the back and you can really grab something or find your stretch. If you're here, grab the leg and push your chest forward between the arms. Just this should be enough for you to find the stretch in the leg. It's not about how deep we go. Again, it's about finding that sensation in your body. Breathe. Yes, Olga. Stretch spine. If you notice you're leaning too much to one side, stretch spine. Now something that you guys can do in this pose if you feel like you're a little bit lopsided is to take a slight twist first. So in this case, we are on the right leg. You can twist a little bit to the right first to kind of readjust, come back to center and making sure you are on that right leg, then fold forward. Take deep breaths here. With the inhale, maybe you become a little bit longer. With the exhale, we find new space to fold down. And inhale, coming up. We will change the side. So the right foot is pressing against the left inner thigh now. If you want, take a slight twist to the left side just to make sure you are aligned. Come back to center onto that left leg. You can place the hands on the mat. Inhale, opening the heart, exhale folding onto the leg as much as we can. We can grab the leg and readjust again, pushing the chest forward between the shoulders. If it helps, 
instead of looking down at your foot or at your leg, you can look away in front of you. The idea more than going down is of becoming long. You want to elongate the spine. So you can look far away and kind of imagine, I want to go touch that one thing. And use that as your focus for resistance. Inhale, coming up. We will lay down on the mat and take a happy baby pose. Lay down all the way. Bend the knees and grab your feet. It's easier for me personally if I grab my feet from the inside, but you can also try catching the toes or grabbing from the outside. For me, I prefer to grab them from the inside and gently push the knees down towards the mat, towards your armpits, keeping the shins perpendicular to the floor. Make sure here that the shoulders are relaxed we are not hunching. And your lower back is on the mat as well. Let me look at these happy babies. John, separate the knees, knees to your armpits. Open more, 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 open, open, open. Yes, 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 yes. And now gently push them down towards your armpits. Yes, the same, Julian. Separate the knees, separate the knees, more, more. If it's easier, then grab the feet from the inside. Julian, yes. Separate the knees, knees to armpits. Can you lift the feet a little bit more? Yes, 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 yes. You can separate the feet as well, separate the feet. Yes, knees to armpit, yes. You should be feeling it in your hips. Olga, lower back to the mat. As you continue to push the knees towards the armpits, so you create resistance. Very nice, Gabby. I can see you, Limerick, but I'm sure you're doing great. Very nice. Now we will release the hands, bring the legs together, and we will take a viparita karami or legs up the wall. If you want to go next to the wall in your, at home and place your legs up the wall, you can do that. You can use the wall for support or you, if that's comfortable for you, you can also stay here with the legs up and the hands on the mat by your side with the palms turned up. Close your eyes, focus on the breath. And pay attention to the sensations in your legs. Take a reclined twist. You can bring your arms shoulder high, like a cross extended to the sides of your body. Bend the knees to your chest. And you have the option to either drop the knees like this to the right, that's enough. Or if you prefer, you can also cross the left leg over the right and then drop both knees to the right side. Look to the left if it doesn't bother your neck. Gently 
come back to center. If you're wrapping the legs, unwrap the legs, knees to chest, and we'll drop to the left, either knees together or right leg wrapped around the left. It's your choice. Drop. And if it doesn't bother your neck, then look at your right hand. Inhale, coming back up, unwrap the legs. If your legs are hot, maybe lift your forehead to touch the knees. And maybe roll gently from side to side. Give your back a slight massage. Let the legs go. And we'll come to find our Shavasana. If you feel like you need an extra stretch somewhere in your body, if there's any place that you feel you have some tension left that we didn't address, feel free to give yourself a stretch now. And whenever you are ready, you can meet us in Shavasana, corpse pose for the final relaxation. The legs are slightly apart, toes falling open to the sides, shoulders away from the ears, arms by the sides of the body with the palms facing up. If we were controlling the breath, now is the time to let it go. Natural breaths, let it flow. And allow the body to fall into a deep state of relaxation. With every exhale, allowing the body to melt onto the mat. You may feel the heaviness of the physical self. And we take this time to become an observer of the breath, of any sensations. Begin to bring your awareness inside your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes. 
Raise your arms up over your head, interlace the fingers, give yourself a nice, 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 nice stretch. And exhale, release, roll to the side on your mat. And whenever you are ready, slowly come up into a seated position. Legs are crossed, spine spread hands on your knees or chimura. Close your eyes and breathe. We'll chant on three times to close the class. Inhale. Slowly open your eyes. Thank you for joining me in this class. If this is your first class, I have a few other classes that you can try on my YouTube channel. And I plan to continue posting these, uh, actually reposting these live classes. And I hope that you will continue to enjoy practicing with me in the future. Thank you.